Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create thank you emails using Doodly Whiteboard Animation Software. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. So let's get started. We're going to click Create New Video. And we're just going to choose a whiteboard and we're going to name it Thank You Email. Choose the resolution of 1080 and click Create. So when are you going to send a thank you email? Many occasions to send thank you emails, one of which would be after your customer has converted. So for example, let's say they've downloaded your app. You'd want to send a thank you message to them right away. In this case, you could include a short walkthrough video to help them get started using the app that they just downloaded. Doodly's great for this because you can use Doodly's hand to represent the various taps and swipes that they're going to need to take when using your app. You could also use a whiteboard video to show how they can contact you if they need any help or have any questions. Or you could walk them through a quick demonstration of the core features that they'll want to use right away. Now I've already created a short thank you message, so I'm going to do the audio first. And then from there we will build our video. So to do the audio, you go down here to the microphone section and you click this little plus sign. And then you have this red microphone and once you click it, it's going to start recording. Thank you for downloading our app. We believe it can help make your grocery shopping process a little easier. Here's a short video to help you get started. So now we just have to create the video that coincides with the audio. So the first thing we have is thank you for downloading our app. So let's go over to the props and let's find a phone. And here's one with a hand holding the phone and I think that will be just fine. And then we want the message that says thank you. So we're gonna go over here to our text section and just type in thank you. And click word wrap. Now, if you have an actual app, you probably want to take a screenshot and then upload it and put it inside the phone. But in this example, we'll just kind of recreate it using graphics. Actually, I know there's a character holding groceries. So. Now over here in the panel on the right, let's arrange these. So I want the text to come on first. So I put it on top. And then the hand draws on, and I don't think we need it to be three seconds long. And then the image of the woman inside the app, she can be pretty fast too. If you had a logo, you probably put the logo inside there as well. And I think that's fine. So we're gonna need a new scene. So click that button. And let's go back to props, and let's add another phone. And this is going to represent our app, okay? A larger, so go to text, and then now this scene is going to carry over quite a bit. So what I want to do is duplicate it, and I also want to make sure there's no swipe at the end. So I'm going to turn exit animation to none. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to right click. And I'm going to choose duplicate. And now I have an identical scene. And it's going to be seamless between the two. And I'm going to erase this and then add new text. So I'm going to click on this, click the gear icon, and I'm going to set the exit animation to erase. And make it just real quick, a one second erase, maybe even less. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. Erase, half a second. And I'm going to set all of these durations over on this side to zero because we don't need the hand to redraw them because they've already been drawn on. So now I have a very short scene 
that all it does is erase these two items. Now I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Right click, duplicate, and I'm going to just delete these because they've been erased. So let me just show you real quick what I'm talking about. So click show preview and this little mini window allows me to start a short video to help you get started. First, once the app downloads on your phone, create an account by entering your name and putting in a password. No, no. Okay, so you see how it erased that. Now I do need to adjust the timing on the prior scene, but right now I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted to show you this erase. So here's the end of the first scene. Here's my second scene where it's just erasing it. And then now we're into our third scene. So now we have a screen that's blank that we can add new text to. So we're going to ask what type of story you usually go to. So let's do that. Let's just add a couple names. It's a safe way. And that should be just fine. And then we're going to say frequency. And then maybe we want to add something to that. And then our final thing is going to be finally we'll remember to remind you when next week rolls around. So let's go back to props and maybe let's see if there's something that says reminder. I like this little note. So I think if we have this pop on, let's have that animate on. That'll be kind of fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this as small as it goes and I want to turn the drawing off on this, so I'm going to turn it to zero. So let's go ahead and copy this. So go Control or Command C, depending on your operating system, and then Control or Command V to paste. And our second one comes on. And it's just going to be larger. And then Control Copy or Command Copy and then control or command V to paste. And so we're gonna make that even larger. And let's look at the durations. Okay, I the delays. So right now they're all coming on at the exact same time because there's a zero delay between them. So on the second one, let's add, let's do this as short as we can, so let's start with two. And then the same with this one, point two. And now, let's copy it. And make it bigger. So they're just gonna pop on one after another and it's gonna create the illusion of an animation. And I think another one. So we're enlarging the one that gets pasted on top, just in case that's not clear. And we'll do one more. And there. And then now we'll have the text come on that reminds them, shopping day is coming up. Let's center the text. And if we go back to preview, I can show you how that all plays out. Okay, if we add your favorite stores, and there it is. Okay, see how that, see that little animation? Let's hit play. Per week, twice a week, every day. So that's just a fun little way to add some animations to your videos. So we have the audio laid down and the video, but the timing needs to be adjusted. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the first video, do a quick preview of that scene and adjust it until it's perfect. So let's right click, click preview. Thank you for downloading our app. We believe it can help make your grocery shopping process a little easier. And then it's going to say, here's a short video to get you started. So this needs to be a little bit longer. So we need to add two seconds to the end of this scene. short video to help you get started. 
First, once the app downloads on your phone, create an account by entering your name and putting in a password. No numbers or special characters needed. Okay, so we're close on that, just not quite. So let's add a delay before name comes on. So again, click the scene. So now you're working with it here in the right. And I want a delay before name comes in. And just one second, I think, will be sufficient. And that might be enough so that this one, no numbers, comes in on time. But I don't think so. So I'm going to add one second here. And we'll see. Right. First, once the app downloads on your phone, create an account by entering your name and putting in a password. No numbers or special characters needed. Then we'll ask you what type of store you usually go to, such as Safeway or Vons, and how often you go, once per week, twice a week, every day. Third, we'll ask if this will be your first time at the store or if it's a favorite. Okay, so we were pretty close on everything else until we got up to this add your favorite store. So again, click in the scene, we wanna go up to add favorite store and we want to add a delay and I think probably three seconds will do the trick. Might need a little bit more but we'll see. So now let's back up a little bit. Third, we'll ask if this will be your first time at the store or if it's a favorite. Okay so I need a slightly longer. Let's try five seconds. Third, We'll ask if this will be your first time at the store or if it's a favorite. Finally, we'll remember to remind you when the next week rolls around to create your shopping list. Okay, so timing is just fine for everything. All we need to do is add a little bit of music to the background and we will be done. So you go over to the sounds tab, click categories, music. And then you're going to listen until you find something that fits the bill. I'm going to pause the video and do that and I'll be right back. I've chosen Happy Days and all I'm going to do is I'm going to first scroll over to the very beginning of my video because I want the music to come in at the beginning. So wherever my playhead is, is where it's going to come in. So now I just drag it into the music timeline. And there it is, it's right there. But it's probably gonna be a little bit too long, and it is. So all I wanna do is take my mouse and hover it over the end until a double-sided arrow appears. And then I'm gonna just drag the mouse over. And I'll need to do this several times to shorten this audio track. And now it's the right length, but it's gonna just chop off right here. So if I right click, I can choose fade out and it's going to fade the music out. Right now it's about a one second fade out. I want it to be a longer, slower fade. So I'm going to drag this little triangle out so it's a long, slow fade. Now in my experience, I found that the music drowns out my voiceover by quite a bit. So I always go over here to the speaker icon and I bring the audio level of the music way, way, way down. 14% might be about right. And then we can preview it and we should be done. Thank you for downloading our app. We believe it can help make your grocery shopping process a little easier. Here's a short video to help you get started. First, once the app downloads on your phone, create an account by entering your name and putting in a password. No numbers or special characters needed. Then we'll ask you what type of store you usually go to, such as Safeway or Vons, and how often you go, once per week, twice a week, every day. Third, we'll ask if this will be your first time at the store or if it's a favorite. Finally, we'll remember to remind you when the next week rolls around to create your shopping list. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to make a thank you email using Doodly. Thanks for watching.